Took a bit to figure out, but I got it. Seriously, though, this was a massive pain in the ass. I really did not expect it to be that difficult, but unfortunately, a combination of the boot process just being very different from what's seen with PCs and really bad and hard to find documentation because Chinese company that doesn't do a great job localizing or making sure their FTP server actually has the files that it's supposed to. Yeah. But I got it figured out. Uh, turns out the some of the images that were uh, supposed to be for this board don't really work. But I got it. Um, right now, it's booting off the, SS, the SD card. Apparently, it is possible to make it boot off of the internal NAND flash. Um, that is quite an ordeal. I'm not sure how I feel about doing that. Um, right now, I'm going to see about getting it set up and measure performance and decide whether or not NAND is worth it. But the performance seems pretty all right right now. The, the boot time was pretty good. Uh, I've got the full GNOME 3 desktop environment installing, um, which I actually just finished. Uh, so I'm going to try booting that up because that is quite a bit more intensive. There's a lot of loading going on there. So I think as long as it's as long as the disk performance is acceptable, I, I think the combination of the SSD and MSATA, uh, sh or, I keep doing that, the SD card and MSATA should be fine, um, but I'll, I'll, I'll take the measurements. But once I got that set up, uh, I'm going to move the thing down. I, I have the home network set up so that there's a bunch of stuff down in the basement. I can put this with that. Um, and just access it through SSH for um, development purposes. So I'll be doing that. Um, that's kind of it for this. I'll wind up reviewing this later once I've got it fully set up, but that's kind of it for now.